backpack about at Hapoe. Here you can see the uh, slopes of the Balkan mountains. But actually higher parts are behind these. That's also here where the monastery was. I walked all the way from there. Behind these you have higher tops, but I'm not going farther up right now. It's quite enough. And then uh, this direction is, uh, well, Ribarica is over there. It means like the fishers village, because there's a lot of, um, what is it, Pasturba there? I don't know if that's a trout or whatever. Not really a fish eater. But over there, behind the mountains, is Tetevan, and you have the Tetevanski at Balkan, which is a very, very beautiful mountain range as well, where I should definitely go when it gets warmer, because it was a bit too cold to enjoy the hike even. Like, it was cool, but I can't wait for stuff to turn green again. As you can see, it's kind of a bit boring right now, but still, mountains and uh, it was definitely enjoyable so I'm so lucky to do all these little trips in uh, the country I live right now because I know that uh, vacation is a difficult topic this year once again unfortunately and I have some absences coming up I uh, Perhaps April, May, I might do some trips. But because it is so difficult right now with all the stuff, even though I'm good at travel planning, it will cost me significant time investment to go somewhere else. With the testing and everything, basically right now. I cannot avoid it because I also need one when I come back into Bulgaria. So I'm disappointed that they uh, implemented this. But, uh, Who's to say that I'll leave the country? Then, uh, if it's so easy to travel around here, it's actually quite uh, like the weather will get better. Everything is actually open. You might as well stay here. There's no reason to go anywhere else right now. At least I don't see a, a very good reason to go in the first place. So yeah. It is whatever it is, and uh, Bulgaria, Bulgaria right now is a very good place to be, once things start warming up again, we're essentially in paradise, you can do endless trips, like it is actually rare that I take a full week and go deep into the country, it's because I always go abroad when I have more than a weekend I always fly out but now if that's impossible might as well do some trips here like the Tesno Lineka to the uh, Rilla mountains the narrow gauge railway line and what else I'm sure I'll find some cool stuff to explore here but uh, it is yet to be decided still a lot can change in a month or so we never know. Either way, the year has started off well for me. Uh, without any hassle, uh, with good vibes only, in good health, and just uh, stability is the most important thing. I've been dating around, I've had fun, I've gone out, I've made trips. Uh, it was a stable winter and it was over before I even realized it started. Uh, it wasn't restful and long as I anticipated. It was actually quite nice. Perhaps you feel the same way, but the last winter, 2020, was actually really long and exhausting. And I'm glad that that was over. And now the next one's almost over, so that is how fast it goes, and that's a good thing. Because uh, I'll have new things to look forward to, and so should everyone else, I guess. Because, uh, yeah, go on adventure if you're not seeing any 
any positive perspective make it happen I would say so in the same restaurant again should probably try the specialty of the chef which is a steak Gergana probably named after her why not might as well Get the steak with an egg on top. Looks delicious. Some glutenitsa. Time to enjoy dinner. Cheers. Second evening in Etropoli. That was delicious. Uh, the main course now have a cheesecake for dessert with some more wine. Really enjoying this. Totally relaxing and uh, just feeling blessed. Marvelous day and deep. Taking it slow.